Hey y'all, it's Mouthwater Monday, so you know that means another cooking video. Today we will be making reverse seared steak with stuffed mashed potatoes and green beans. Now, right now I'm just showing y'all everything that you will need to make. These are all of the ingredients that you will need. It's not that much, but yeah, if you're interested in learning how to make this dish, then keep on watching. Okay, first we're gonna take these potatoes and just stick them with the fork like so all over. Meat while it's coming up to room temperature. Hey y'all, please, please, please wash your meat because people be trying to cook without washing their meat, and that's just no. Who told you to wash the meat with dish detergent? Somebody said wash the meat. My friend girl um, Bubba just told me to wash the meat. She said wash the meat. When I don't, not with soap. Not with soap. Oh shit. I'm eating it. I just took all the seasonings that I wanted to season the meat with and then mix it together. And I made sure to pat it onto the steak instead of rubbing it because if you rub it, the seasoning will clump together and cause it to burn and stick to the pan. Okay, so I'm gonna put these ba this bag of French beans, the green beans, in the microwave for about eight minutes and then take them out and just saute them in a pan. After that comes out of the microwave, I just kind of pour the whole bag in there and then put butter on top I don't have it too high it's on like two right now so since I like my green beans a little crunchy but not too crunchy I just put it on low and season it with whatever seasoning that I want it to taste like and just let it cook throughout the whole process that I'm cooking everything else. And honestly, you could just leave it on the stove and like kind of stir it occasionally, but yeah, you ain't really got to do too much to it. All right, let me tell y'all about this sauce because this sauce made me mad. I ain't no cook, I ain't no chef, I ain't none of that, but this, this sauce gave me a hard time, and it was supposed to be like a sauce, but I made it into a fondue, but that's my business. But yeah, y'all, get y'all some butter, let that melt real good, then put some garlic in there. And then I realized I'm messing up my pan so bad with this spatula, this little metal stirring thing. So then y'all gonna see me switch it out for the softer, stirring thing i don't know what that thing called I, my mind is drawing a blank but anyway you take that and let that cook real good and then you're gonna take you some flour and start to mix that in there just so it can get you know so it can thicken up a little bit All right, so after that, I'm gonna take a little slice of cream cheese, let that melt in there, and then I'm gonna pour in some heavy whipping cream. Um, while I did this, I made sure to stir it just in case uh, to get those clumps out from the cream cheese. Then I'm gonna take this cup that I already had 
pre-mixed some gravy mix in there with some hot water. If you cook a lot, you know that you want to mix this with hot water. So whatever you're pouring it into, it does not clump up. I just poured that in there and then mixed it in real good. And like I said, I ain't no cook and I ain't no chef. And I feel like this is where I messed this up. I don't know why I put some old whip, heavy whipping cream in there. I just, I really don't know why. But anyway, y'all. Yeah, you're going to let that come up to a boil. Boiling real good, smelling real good, whatever. And then you're going to season it so it can taste good. Because you just don't want no bland sauce on your steak. So, yeah, it's just going to sit there. I seasoned it and I'm going to let it just do his thing. When it started to boil and cook real good, how I liked it, I added some shredded Asiago cheese and just mixed that in there really good. Okay, so boom, the steak out the oven, it's looking real brown, whatever, but you don't want to eat it yet. You put some butter in the pan and then get you some rosemary and y'all, I have a hard time saying this. Is it time? The TH be messing me up, but y'all know what it is. Put that in the pan, let it cook real good. You want to press it down into the pan so you can get as much surface area of your steak cooked and looking real good when you flip it over that's where you get that from by pressing the seasoning in instead of rubbing it in you're gonna see what i'm talking about later Then you're gonna take you a little spoon and cover your steak with all that butter so it can be nice and juicy cause don't know why they want no dry steak, okay? I do this every time I cook steak because I don't have a thermometer and I like my, I don't like too much red in my steak, but if you do, that's your business, but I don't, so I cut it a little bit, then close it back up and continue to cook it. I just went on ahead and added some more butter so I can cook the next piece of steak and I just did the same thing. Okay, so your potatoes are done. I took them out of the oven. I took them out a little bit early because I like potatoes where it's like chunks of potatoes, but it's also mashed potatoes. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I took them out a little bit early, but you wanna make sure that you're able to stick a fork through the potato all the way and it's easy. And I did that with one hand so I can really make sure that it was easy for me to stick it in there without any I don't know. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, make sure you be careful when you're trying to open up the potato because them things is really hot and you do not want to burn yourself. Okay, so I cooked four potatoes because I'm making two potatoes. You want to make two for one. You're going to go ahead and scoop all the potato out of the little shell. 
whatever you call it, the skin girl, and then put it in the bowl. Then you're gonna put some butter, sour cream, and season it, and you're gonna mix it all up, and then put it back in there. boom you are done go ahead and put that steak on your plate cut it up real good real nice then you want to get your plate arranged how you want it to be put your potato on there your green beans and then get you a fork and eat because you done and remember y'all, I am a small YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe and like my videos because that really helps to support me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.